as a symbolic for being pure, decent. And then they start talking about their heaven. And the second they start talking about their heaven, they say this. But whatever you see, you want it, you feel like having it, it's already there, it's sweet to the eye, it's attractive to it, it's yours. In, 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 in this world, what's attractive to your eye is not yours always. See, what's attractive to your eye, whether it's a vehicle or something, look, we, we're trying to be decent here. <laughs> whether it's a vehicle or whatever else it is. So Did you hear it? We are trying to be decent here. We are trying. This guy is describing the heaven which Allah, he promised him. And this heaven obviously is not decent. And this is why he said that we are trying to be decent. Uh, and you know, let us try to be decent here because their prophet and their God, he described even their private part. The Quran even described the size of their breast. The Hadith even described how they do it. The hadith even describe the penis of the man, how long it is, is going to be endless. So, you know, I want to make it simple for those who like uh, simple talk. If Islam is religion, belong to God. What kind of God this God is? What kind of God this God his followers, they are talking about such a thing. And remember, like, you know, if we hear this conversation about somebody from like adult show, we say, okay, you know what, those are people just, they don't care, you know. But those are the people who are supposed to be religious, and those are the ones who, you see, we commit sin, we do, we do bad things in, in, as a human. But we don't claim that this is our good moral. We don't claim that this is God teaching. Those people, they are talking about their God teaching. So I have this simple question to the Muslims. What God teaching is this teaching? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? You know, forget you say Christian Prince is lying, Christian Prince is not uh, telling you the truth, even though I show reference, I show the proof, I play your videos, we show the Quran, we show the interpretation, we show what the Prophet said, I never say of my own. We just heard your Sheikh saying, let us try to be decent here. And then we go in the comment and we see women, Muslim women, I mean, don't you have shame? Let us try to be decent. Ha 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 ha, mashallah, subhanallah. I mean, they say, subhanallah, mashallah, even it's about porn. We are talking literally about porn. And yet they say, subhanallah, mashallah. And not only that, you will see someone else saying, mashallah, so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And the funny other person, he says, uh, First of all, be good person. Then talk about heaven. Mm -hmm. And how to be a good person in Islam. Who is a Muslim would like to... Uh, I'm willing to take your call if you want. I'm willing to open my sky for you. If there's any Muslim can tell us what is this heaven which we are trying to be decent to talk about it? What kind of heaven, this heaven where a Muslim woman, she say whatever size you want? What kind of religion? It says, Subhanallah, very inspiring. We are talking about having sex with women in heaven and they are saying, Subhanallah, very inspiring. Islamic supremacy, yeah, everything, everything in the Muslim they do is Islamic supremacy. They think they are right and they are, the rest are wrong and they are the only pure people in the world and the rest are filthy 
and uh, you know anything you say it's offensive this is all supremacy and supremacy people who believe in supremacy not only they say it by their mouth they do it by their hand so if you don't agree with them they use violence to use their supremacy subhanallah this is so beautiful mashallah beautifully explained we are talking about the size of a breast we are talking about the, 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 the look of the private part of the women, the look of the private man, and, and, and then, subhanallah, beautifully explained. MashaAllah. This guy in, in the minute number four, he says, Amin, I am see really, I'm, I'm wondering what happened in minute number four. Shall we click here? Because he said, Amin Lul. Shall we click? I'm, I'm curious. I mean, it wasn't loud enough, my brother. <laughs> it wasn't loud. May Allah grant us the hood. Look, 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 look. You know, may Allah grant us the whore, the whore, the whore. Everybody's saying, I mean. Do you see how excited they are? No wonder this guy, he said, number minute number four is the best. Like what happened in the minute number four? I wanna, I wanna see exactly what was this guy was saying. Would know what it's like. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala grant us goodness. So, whilst I look at something, say, say for example, a spouse. May Allah grant us the whole. Wasn't loud enough, my brother. <laughs> wasn't loud. May Allah grant us the whole. Oh, that sounds more like. It. Remember, they know system. <laughs> they are meeting, praying how Allah will grant him the big boobs women and everybody shouting saying Amin. I mean do you see where I mean appear in Islam they are not meeting that is how we can feed the, the, the poor Muslims in Somalia how we can feed the poor Muslims in Yemen just now 15 minutes ago Europe announced seven billion dollar to Turkey the Christian in Europe, they are feeding the Muslims refugee in Turkey. The seven billion dollar is not coming from Emirates, is not coming from Saudi Arabia, is not coming from Mufti Monk, is coming from Europe. So while the stupid Europeans send their money to feed those people who they are thinking about who are, I mean, I don't blame them. I mean, those Europeans are stupid people. Honestly, they are stupid. Just because they cannot close their borders because they are, you know, this, the, those European countries are controlled by a bunch of donkeys. So they have to pay Erdogan seven billion dollars from your tax, from your money, from your pocket. To who? To those people who pray for you day and night to die. Seven billion dollar. And then Erdogan, he will go in public. He say. We are the one who is having the refugee. We are the one who is feeding the Muslims when the fact it is not him. He will take the money. He will not feed the refugee. The refugee will be starving in Turkey. Most of those women who they are Syrian, they are used for prostitution, human trafficking, etc. And the men, he forced them to work in his militant group so they can go and fight in Armenia and they can fight in other countries or Libya. So what kind of religion this religion is? And what kind of followers these followers are? You know, the second you, you start listening, you, want, you start wondering like, we are talking about what exactly? When a Muslim, he says, be righteous so you can go to heaven. What righteous mean? If Muhammad himself was a caravan rider, a thief, a rapist, a criminal, a child molester. So when a Muslim he says, in order to go to heaven, you have to be a righteous man. Are you going to be righteous like Muhammad? Is that what do you mean? Since I need to be honest, I am not happy with the whore, al -Aim. and I don't care what people say. You will be satisfied like, yes, I will be happy in Jannah. I am in Jannah. I would rather to be here than be in hell 
But with many men, uh, man is my own man, not for no other women. Somebody trying to think here, because Islam made the women a sex toy. She is, she is exists just for sex. You know, you go to heaven. The man, this is the heaven of the man. You see all this meeting, there's nothing, not a single woman there. In this conversation in the mosque, I mean, look at, look at, look at this garbage religion. They are having meeting of men alone, and then they publish the men alone meeting in the internet. Is it men alone still? And then women, they watch this video, and women, they got disgusted, unless she is a whore. Like this woman here, here, she says, whatever size you want. And she is laughing. Her name is Sabha Khan. Alhamdulillah. Your mom was a good mother. The funny is, Muhammad, he said to them, whatever you do in earth, you will not get in heaven. <laughs> you know, that if you ask a Muslim, okay, if you drink wine in earth, why you will not get it in heaven? Because, brother, it's not decent. It's not decent to drink wine. Okay, question. That's a good question. Perfect. So, if you drink wine, it's not decent. So, you will get what is not decent in heaven. <laughs> Read with me and laugh at this stupid cult. I mean, you cannot be a person with little brain if you don't see what I'm talking about. Ask any Muslim in the chat. Hit Muslims in the chat. Tell us, please, why drinking wine is haram? Why drinking wine is haram? It is sin, isn't it? It is sin. So it is sin in earth, but the sin in heaven is okay. I mean, what kind of logic this logic is? It's in front of you. Always when you want to find any hadith, my friend, instead of me posting it for you, sometimes the admin they post it, but you can go right now, like copy five words of this hadith and, you know, write them. Type them in the search engine of the website, you will find the hadith. So this religion teach you that it is haram, it's bad, it's not, not you are not being a righteous man if you drink wine. Right? So I'm being a righteous man if I drink wine in heaven. The whole idea of Muhammad cult is to make you horny, tempted. And die for him. Don't you want to get it? You have to die for me. How I can make someone go and join ISIS when he knew mostly he will get killed? How I can make somebody go and fight for me and he will not even, you know, get the reasoning of uh, this fight? But I will give him a reason. I will give a million reasons to die. And this meeting here in the video, this is a, you know, I don't want to use a bad language. I don't know what we shall do. I mean, how you can talk about Islam? Doesn't matter what you say doesn't matter what you say or you talk about when it's come to Islam it's not a good language you cannot use a good language it is impossible to use a good language and the topic is Islam and this is why we heard this guy saying let us try to be decent here and the women who got excited here her name is Javira Abid 
She's very excited. She like it. <laughs> hey, let us be decent. <laughs> Let us be decent. Why we cannot be decent? Because we are talking about Islam. So when a Muslim Sheikh, he says, let us be decent. He is saying that for a reason. Because the second you start talking about Islam, things is out of control. It is sexual. It is disgusting. And remember, I'm not saying that sex is disgusting. No, 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 no. This is not what I'm saying. But the purpose of this religion is just sex. Why you pray, why you fast, why you do jihad, why you kill, why you hate, to go to heaven. And what you get in heaven, the video is explaining. There's a video actually made by a Muslim mullah speaking about when you go inside the heaven, Muslims, Muslim, the moment they will jump on you. One, she will be excused. And I don't know what to do now. How am I going to talk about this? Any one of you is under the age of 70? If you are under the age of 70, leave. Okay, only adult in the age of 70 and over, between 70 and 80. Because after 80, you became a child again. The Muslim Sheikh in the video, he explained that when you go to the heaven, the second you enter your house, women, they jump on you. One, she will be sucking your tongue. The other one, she will be licking your nose. The other one, she will be, you know. This is religion. So all this drama, you know, the Quran brother is preserved the Quran brother. Yasser Kadi, there's a hole in the narrative. And you know, Nasser Kadi, he starts calling names. You are, you know, you are stupid, you are filthy, all the names. All of this to tell us, oh, the Quran is preserved and the Quran is the book of porn. What we will get in heaven, let us be decent here. Can we be decent? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? And hello for all who said hello to me when I was talking. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? Would like to say anything good to us? Any Muslim want to tell us how to, why the Sheikh is saying, let us try to be decent when the fact he's talking about heaven. I mean, how you cannot be decent yet you are talking about heaven. If we cannot be decent, talking about heaven, what we will be, when, where we are going to be decent. You see, the topic is heaven. So how for the sake of Allah Shin, you say, let us try to be decent. And the guy is saying to you, and brother, when you go into heaven, the Quran says, whatever your eye desire, what kind of heaven this heaven? What does that mean? Whatever. What if a guy he desire you? What if there is a guy he like men and he desire this guy? You just said whatever you are desire. Actually, yes. The promise have to be kept whatever you desire. So if a man he desire this man, this man have to bend over. And actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that a man, he can desire a man in the heaven. If you remember what he said. First of all, this one here, it's talking about the promise of Allah. Look at the promise of Allah. Look at this promise of Allah. If we, this is God. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? 
any Muslim don't agree with us. Any Muslim he don't he think we are not being fair. Just say it, it's okay. But you have to give me a reason. I welcome you to say anything you want. I can take your call if you want. If there's any Muhammadan. Yeah, here, no, the inheritance. You see, there's a, there's a guy, a, a, a girl, her name is Fifi. She said, Christian Prince, he lied to you. When he said the inheritance from people of hell, I said, I say, those are whore, prostitute. He said, no, those are your family. Those are people you know, you know, a family. I thought nobody should go to heaven unless he is decent. So what if my, isn't it Muhammad himself, he asked Allah to forgive his mother, yet she is not for, forgiven? He asked Allah to forgive his father, yet he is not forgiven? So what, look what the, what the hadith is saying. They have desirable front passages. This is the qualification. The only qualification for them, they have desirable sexual parts. And the funny is, he's not talking about, I mean, what about the back, only the front? What happened to the back? In different hadith, he speak about the, in, in the, the back, where he says that the Muslim women in heaven, or the whore, they will have one mile butt. Their butt will be one mile. Which is decent size, to be honest with you. I mean, it, but it's maybe some of you like it bigger. I mean, even when you are telling me about women, women are imported. This is sex trafficking. Those women who they are prostitute. Okay, Allah, he opened the door of heaven. Sorry, the, the hell. Look, those are and inheritance from the people of hell. What kind of inheritance he will get? He will inherit people from hell. Allah, he opened the door of hell and he pick up only women who have desirable front passages. If you are a woman, you don't have desirable front passages, bad news for you, you will stay in hell. But if you are lucky women who have big boobs, mashallah, alhamdulillah, subhanallah, Allah will import you to heaven. So when this guy is saying in the video, let us try to be decent here, because this religion have no decency. And look how those Muslim women, she is so, I bet you she get a lot of a private messages now in her account. You can imagine how many Muslims they send her message for her comment, because obviously, or the other women who said, Whatever size you want. Sabha Khan. Mrs. Sabha is very decent. Whatever size you want. What the reply says. Ha ha ha. Thank God he don't mean it like that. What? <laughs> he, didn't mean, he didn't mean like that. He did. He said whatever, whatever you wish. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, one of you, he said that there is a Muslim Ustad from Indonesia. He challenged to debate me. If you have the video, send it to me in, uh, you know, uh, in Patreon email. So because we have a fish, so we can have fun. You know, it will be our fish. Whatever size you want. This is, I mean, this is a comment in a teaching about Allah. And look at the questions, how silly they are. When he say wife, does he mean the wife from dunya or the wife you got from in Jannah? This guy is worried. Are you saying that the wife I'm going to have boom boom with her is the same wife I have here or a different wife you idiot he's talking about the wife in heaven you idiot what your your wife in, in earth most of them they will go to hell Muhammad says so <coughs> so this guy is asking I mean look at this decent religion man 
This guy, he don't want his wife in earth to be with him in heaven. I'm sick of her. Like, come on. Are you telling me my wife in earth will be with me there? Uh, you must be kidding. You must be kidding, right? There's no way. I mean, come on. I cannot wait to get rid of her. Are you telling me she will be with me there? Well, the Hadith says that your wife, she is possible to be with you, and even the Quran, but not necessarily, because most of women, they will go to hell. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Is my internet good, guys? Lately, we have good internet. We are not losing connection. We lost it only like two days ago only. For a few seconds. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? This guy is saying, uh, unless she speak like a man. Look, this guy, his, his, his wife, obviously, he's married to a half man, maybe. There's an Ustaz of Indonesia made video of this topic. Many Abdul said this is Ustaz was lying. Why they said he's lying? <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is about Indonesian Muslims, when they call themselves Ustaz, I mean, in the Middle East, if you call yourself Ustaz, you are saying you are donkey. In the Middle East, if you go in the Middle East, and you call anyone Ustaz, unless he is a school teacher or an engineer, you are insulting him, calling him donkey. I'm serious. You can ask anyone. Only school teacher, not not religion teacher, school teacher. You can call him Ustad. Or he's an engineer. If you call someone else Ustad, you are saying literally he's a donkey. Have you ever heard of any Arab sheikh he call himself Ustad? They don't. Did you ask yourself why? Do we have any Muslim? We have somebody here is coming for dating purpose. Take care, buddy. Do we have any Muslim here? Subhanallah, very inspiring, subhanallah. My faith, my faith got the crumbly to the fact of horror and especially our feeling getting taken away like jealousy. We will have our free will taken away because it says in Surah, whatever you ask Allah, he would accept your request. Since I don't feel jealous for my husband, I would not, never ask Allah that I don't want her for my partner. <laughs> this woman, she got Allah busted. Guys, do you understand what she's saying? People, do you understand what this woman she just said? She's a Muslim woman. She is using her brain. And she is sharing with you how stupid this promise is. When Allah, he said, Allah will take the jealousy of those women. Women in heaven, they have no jealousy. So they will not, you know, like, okay, it's a sex party, as you see. And sex party, if a woman, they have jealousy, then uh, they will get jealous. You know, uh, one male, there's one rooster. So Allah, he solved the problem. Allah will take your jealousy away. So when you go in the sex party, like there is 80, 80 people having sex, 1,000, 20,000, 70,000, all those women, and you are the only male. Women, they will be fighting then. I mean, there is only one guy. Anyone remember how long the man orgasm is in the heaven of Allah? Who remember? Guys, you know, you see, we, we chose this time at night, I mean, my time, 
we don't have many people come at this time 457 but it's okay you know but you guys share the link invite your people how long it take an orgasm 70 years so imagine if a man have 70 women just only 70 women okay if every orgasm is 70 years just to show you the stupidity of this cult so you have 70 women and every orgasm will take you 70 years that's mean 4,900, uh, is that correct? Yeah, 4,900 years until the turn of the first one go back. Can you believe it? 4,900 year. So let us say your husband, he stepped with you today. Hmm? He stepped with you today. When he come back to you again, he will come after 4,900 years again. That's too long. That's too short. You know, those are the Abdul. What are you talking about? The guy he will have orgasms for 70 years. Uh, you know, is that connect? Ta -da 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 -da. I told you, I'm having an orgasm. Uh, okay, this was two years ago. Elizabeth, we have orgasm for 70 years. I can't talk to you right now. Jack and Nike, you are going to have orgasm for 70 years. Abdul, in 70 years of orgasm, you will be out of uh, 70 years orgasm. I mean, are you alligator? Even alligator, he will have it in two minutes. I mean, why you need 70 years orgasm? Question, if the orgasm is 70 years, the sex itself, how long? I mean, obviously the sex is way longer. <laughs> I mean, can you believe how stupid this religion is? It's a sex cult. Allah will take our jealousy. And those are Muslim women are asking questions. This is stupid, man. I don't want that. Oh, so you are saying to me, I will, uh, Allah will take my jealousy, He will take my free will. You see how smart this woman is? Look, look, look how, how, how she, how she got it right. When, when, the, when the, the sheikh in the video, he said Allah will take the women jealousy. What does that mean? You are stripped from thinking. Do you notice? When Allah, he take your jealousy as a woman, that's mean you are not a person who have a brain and see things and decide things. So she got it right away. She said, you know what? This is mean Allah will take our free will. So Muslim women in heaven, she will be nothing but a sex toy. How in the world that can be from God? This woman, she is a Muslim woman, she is asking a question. Any Muslim can answer her? If there is any brave Muslim, have little brain, can answer this Muslim woman. All those comments is made by Muslims, you can tell. My faith got crumbled. Guys, do you see what did you see what she just said? My faith got crumbled on the fact of whore and especially our feeding getting taken away like jealousy women they have no feeling in heaven they are made of silicone they are sex toys is that what do you want for your mother what do you think can you have kids in heaven well, Muhammad, he said, if a Muslim man, he want to have a, a, a son, he can have it like a microwave, you know? Muhammad, he said, Let me find you the hadith. But the, the one who will get 
the baby is not the women, it's the Muslim who will get a bright net. Uh, let us see if I can find the hadith. <clears throat> what are you surprised you are talking to Christian Prince you ask question you get the answer when a believer want a child in paradise he will conceive it Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. what you have in your belly man <laughs> Christian Prince Christian Prince, don't talk to me. I can't even breathe. Uh, uh, Zach and Nayak, what, what, did you eat like a watermelon or something? Christian Prince, you are stupid. First of all, I'm going to get you busted. This is a clear proof that you are educated about Islam. In Islam in the heaven, a Muslim man can conceive a child. Uh, uh, Zach and Nayak, so you conceive the child right now? Exactly. A uh, quick question. Uh, how you are going to deliver it? Uh, oh. Hey, Zachary, are you there? Uh, Zachary? Okay, you get, uh, Zachary, you know, you got me busted. Uh, you, you, are, you, are, you are getting it. Okay, you can see the child. Okay, how you will deliver it? Uh, is that here? You know, when I used to go like in a chat uh, program, I used to say to the Muslims, I challenge you to say three words to me. And from the three words, anything you say, I'm going to get you busted about something your prophet he said. So a Muslim, he like he, he thought he thought he's like exaggerated, like there's no way he can get me something about this. So he said the word microwave. He throw a word microwave. He said, okay, I will okay, I will give you a word. I will I will accept the change microwave. And I get him this hadith. This is the microwave, because you see here it says the translation by the way here is not accurate. It says sa sa in the word today in the in the in the language today meant 60 minutes but 60 minutes is something came later you know this is not uh, our arabian timing thing sa in arabic is something between like you know uh, five minute to 15 minute maximum it's a short time sa like fisa which means immediately so if the muslim man this is what sa i mean if a muslim man he wanted or he desire a child he will carry it he will be bread net he will deliver it and all of this will happen between 5 to 15 minutes. And, but the Muslim, they will say, uh, but he will not desire. But if he desire. But you just said to me, whatever you desire in heaven, you will get. So why he will not, if, why he will not desire? Aha. And then, kama yeshtahi, as he desire, is ashtaha. Actually, if you take the word is ashtaha, and then you post it in the search and then, oh, we, we did not copy it correctly, hold on. Yeah. Why this uh, my mouse? I think this mouse is not halal mouse. It's not copying correctly. When I go to the search engine, finally. Yeah. This is all about desire. And this is a good one about desire. Look at this one. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. So what we will do in heaven? You go to heaven, there's a bazaar, there's a, there's a supermarket, big one. I mean, come on, we have a billion and more uh, customer. So in this bazaar, there's only images of women and men women and men but the customers are what the customers are men 
So now do you understand why this guy, he was saying that we are trying to be decent here? We are trying to be what? Decent. How you can be decent? So whenever a man desire, who is the one who will desire? A man. Desire what? Images. Images of who? Men and women. So the images is images of men and images of women. But the customer is a man. Whenever a man desire an image, he enter it and you know the rest and have sex with it. Yeah, as that uh, guy in the video, if you remember, when he said to me, there's nothing is sin in heaven. This is what the Muslim teach. There is no sin in heaven, which means whatever you do there, you know, sin is only exist in earth. So in the heaven of Allah, all your behavior is approved. That's why it says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? By the way, there is the the the, the video I made about the Big Bang. You know, uh, Doctor Zach and Naik. Not many of you watch it. I don't know why you guys don't like it. Should I add cartoon there? You guys like cartoon, don't you? Hmm. <clears throat> You know, a Muslim, he said to me, uh, your video does not have too many view. Okay, you know, maybe I should uh, put pictures, you know, like to advertise for my videos, like pictures of naked women. Because as you see, the topic is like images, see? If I put an image now of a naked man and a naked woman, I will get all kind of customers. The Christian Prince, how come you don't have a big view of your videos? No, in fact, I have a big view. I have a lot of a view, but they are not in my channel. I don't keep video on my channel. I delete my channel, you know, I mean, you go to my video right now, in my channel, you will find maybe three or four videos. But yet, I am a person who have tens of thousands of videos. And, you know, everybody knows that, you know, YouTube, they target me. You see, all other channels, they can even take donation. Even David Wood channel, uh, say Prophet, etc. In my, I cannot. You know? I can't even apply for it. <clears throat> because my channel is very dangerous. And other channels, Muslims, they, you know, like they jump to debate other people. But here, as you see, I sometimes I feel like a homeless. Like any any Muslim? If there is any Muslim? I keep saying any Muslim. No, no. I mean the Muslim when they when they speak about the view, they are wondering, okay, how come this guy he is what he is, yet in his channel he don't have too many view. He's right. You know, it doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, but you know my videos don't stay in my videos. You want to see my videos, the view is in different, there's different channels. However, if you go, I mean, uh, if you go to Islamic countries, I mean, Pakistan, the Pakistani government, they keep sending YouTube, YouTube, they send me email, they keep sending me email about Pakistan government complaining about my videos. So if I don't have a view, how come the government of Pakistan, they knew about my video? You know what I mean? The government of Iran, Iran, this is many years ago, before uh, any of those names you know, you speak about Islam. The only video they play in their TV about Islamophobia, it was my video. And the topic is Islamophobic. We are the one who have a phobia, it's not them. You Muslims have phobia from 
from pork, you have a phobia from the cross, you have a phobia from gays, you have a phobia from lesbian, you have a phobia even from cheese, you have a phobia from a food, you have a phobia from everything. I mean, name one thing for, for you know, for a Muslim is not a phobia. However, you know, the, the Western government for a long time, they sponsor them. And in France, just uh, two weeks ago, the stupid French, French government was sponsoring the anti-Islamophobic organization. There's an organization, Muslim organization, sponsored by the French government. They pay the money, can you believe it? And now they ban it. This is how stupid those French are. Now they discover that this is, this is an organization of terrorism. So they label us, so they can fight us. When in the fact, we don't have a phobia, it's them who have a phobia. You know, the funny is, if you speak about gay, they go crazy. And look, this is a religion. This is their God promising in heaven, sex with men. <laughs> Do you see the hypocrisy? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anytime you notice that there's something wrong in my internet, just uh, one of you is enough to give me like, you know, maybe the admins, only the admins is better than having flood of number one. If you have a sign of my internet, because I see my internet a little bit weak. Any Mohammedan? Yeah, thank you, Dominique. It's good to have a strong woman, you know. Any Muslim have anything to say? Why is this guy saying let us try to be decent when he's speaking about God? <laughs> 